Okay, we're going to open the program. What we need to do is get the value for the area you're going to be hunting, the NT value, or the magnetic field in the area you're going to be hunting. So we're going to go up here to the NOAA site. We'll click that button. It's going to bring up browser. As soon as that comes up, I'll show you what you need to do. There's three ways you can do it. If you're in the U.S., you can put your zip code in here. If you know your GPS location, you can put it here. Or you can select a country and a city. So we're going to select a country and a city. We're going to choose uh, Bermuda, Hamilton, get location. And you notice the GPS position came up. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to calculate the magnetic field for that location. What you want to do is use the, the total field right here. You want to leave the comma out. So we go back to our program. It just so happens that I have that in there, but I'm going to put it in anyway. 45682.6. Okay, once this is in there, then you can calculate frequencies for gold, silver, copper, whatever you want that's highlighted lead but we want to add a compound we want to add the compound for bad cave air so we're going to hit edit compound list and it comes up for the first time it shows you the format to input the information in for each one and it just goes down the row so we're going to take this out and we're going to put CO2 for bad air and then off the site we're going to put that frequency in that I uh, added which is let's see 39.41 and we're going to hit save. Okay. After you save it, you can close it. You want to refresh the list. After you hit refresh list, come over here and you'll see it in the list. You can select it and you can compound the frequency to check it. Now this is the frequency of CO2 at this location, which is Bermuda. That's how you use the program.